And just months after the first tee of Monterey County took over operations here at the golf course, those devastating storms hit. But despite that huge setback, first tee, the first tee program continues to do what it does best, helping youngsters make right decisions in life. The King City Golf Course still digging out from tons of mud that swept over the golf course when the San Lorenzo Creek flooded over. This was the scene at the height of the flooding when the waters receded, six of the nine holes were under mud. It's been a community effort to, to get just the greens uncovered, but like you said, it's a monumental task. There's six to eight feet of mud, you know, in, in spots. and. It's a lot of mud to clean up. The community, along with local farmers, have chipped in donating equipment and manpower to help the golf course dig out. Because this place is more than just a golf course. It's home to the First Tee Monterey County Youth Program. So we're still doing what we do. Um, you know, resiliency, like I said, is, is one of the things that First Tee prides itself on, and, and that's what we're trying to be. The first tee program in King City has partnered with another nonprofit called Pro Youth, offering after school programs for roughly 400 youngsters in four schools, teaching kids to make the right choices in life. You know, it's the people working together, you know, for the kids and, and for the community. This is our community and that we really care about. Uh, and we want to see it, you know, healthy. We want to see, you know, opportunities for these kids. And I think we all benefit from uh, coming together. First Tee also benefits from the annual AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. On the line, more than a million dollars in charity money at Wednesday's Celebrity Challenge. Last year, Monterey Peninsula Foundation, I believe, uh, dispersed about $14.5 million to local charities, and First Tee is lucky to be one of those charities that uh, benefits from that. We, we will have a couple representatives out there tomorrow for that shootout, and you know, hopefully our guy does well. And we're hoping them all the best. Now, the first tee program of Monterey County has some lofty goals for the coming year. They hope to reach more than 12,000 kids between the uh, first tee program here in King City and the one in Salinas. And the nonprofit now looking at plans at hopefully in the near future opening a first tee on the Monterey Peninsula. <laughs>